for C Digital Menu. In this video, we're going to review how to create and edit a menu item. Menu items should be created and edited by using the Seed Manage site on your PC or laptop. To access the Seed Manage site, open the Seed app from your Clover dashboard. This will automatically log you into your restaurant. Now, once you're in the Manage site, click on the Menus button on your navigation bar towards the left. Here is where you can manage all aspects of your menus, including your menu items. If you look at the top of your page, you'll see four buttons. Let's go ahead and click on the button Master Item List. The Master Item List is where you can manage all categories, subcategories, and menu items themselves. If you need to edit a specific menu item, you can type the name of it in the search box here. The list below will automatically filter to the item that you search for. If you want access to a specific main category or subcategory, you can do so by using the combo box here. The main categories will have a gray background, while the subcategories will have a white background. When you first start using Seed for the first time, you will only have main categories. Now, to create a new menu item, tap the button that says Plus New Item. This will be just above your item list. Now, here's where we can begin editing the details for this menu item. You'll notice there are three tabs on the top. The General tab is where you can edit the basic information for our item. This would be the name, category, price. Now, the Details tab is where you can assign our tax rate, choose our printers, and add our item description and nutritional values. Our final tab is Modifiers. Here is where we can add and edit modifiers for this item. Now, let's go back to the General tab and start building our item. So the first thing we need to do is give our item a name. Let's call this one Tacos. Now the short name will automatically be added, but you can edit this if you'd like. The short name is what will appear on the order form. Next we need to choose the category location for this item, or the category that it will belong to. When you click the combo box, you'll see a list of all of your main categories and subcategories. Just click the category that you want this item to be located in. Next is our price type. Here we have two different types of prices, fixed and variable. If the price of the item does not change, you'll want to choose fixed. If the price of the item fluctuates, choose variable. When variable is chosen, the price will be entered by the server when it is ordered. Next is our base price. This is the actual price of the item. Now, at the bottom is where we can choose what menus we would like this item to appear on. Under the Enabled Menus, you will see each menu for your restaurant. To add an item to a menu, just click the switch under the each menu name. When the switch turns green, it means that it will be on that menu. If you want to keep a menu item off of a specific menu, just make sure that the switch is white. This means that when the menu is active, this menu item will not appear on that order form. Now back on the right is our notes section. This is strictly for adding comments or notes about a particular item. Say you want to know when you need to order more or how long this menu item is going to stay on the menu for. Next is adding your picture for an item. Simply click the button add picture. This will open your file explorer and from there you can find the picture that you want to add. Remember, these pictures are to show your guests so make sure they're good quality. If the file is very large, don't worry. Seed will automatically size it down to fit. Now let's move on to our details tab. Our first section is tax rates. All you need is to find the tax rate or rates that you want to apply to an item, and then click the switch to turn it on. Once the switch turns green, it's then applied to that item. Next is your printers or cook areas. Find the printer you would like this item to be sent to and turn it on with the switch. Next are our tags. Tags are a great feature that Seed is proud to provide. Tags are what allows you to search for an item in the Seed app. Let's say this item is gluten-free. Here we would apply the tag gluten-free, and when you search for gluten-free on the Seed app, tacos would then appear. On the right side of the details section, you'll find where you can enter your item's description and nutritional values. Lastly, we have our modifiers tab. Here we can add or remove modifiers for this item. To add a new modifier, click the button Add Modifier. From the combo box, choose which modifier you would like to add. Once it's selected, click the Save button. 
To see exactly what options are included on that modifier, all you need to do is simply click the expand button. Now you also have the option to change the order in which the modifiers or options will appear on the order form. To change the order, simply click and hold on the move icon and drag the option to change the order. Now, since baked potato is one of our modifiers, we will want to add a responsive modifier or a child question to it. In other words, when a baked potato option is selected, we need a new modifier to appear showing what options you want to have on that baked potato. So, let's find baked potato and then let's click the button child questions. Now let's choose our new modifier from the combo box and then click save. Now if you want to have an option be a default option, you can do so by clicking the button labeled default off. When you click it, it will show that the default is now turned on for that specific option. Once you've finished making all of your changes, click save or save and close to finalize these changes. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to email us at support at cdigitalmenu.com or give us a call at 425-296-7409 and one of our dedicated seed specialists will be more than happy to help.